Why this MIUI custom room or MIUI Moti room is one of my favorite choices. We have some great reasons which I'm going to share with you in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. You know, and this is MIUI E Light Edition or basically HyperOS E Light Edition now because it's now updated to HyperOS Edition and all the HyperOS features are already included, including some E Light specific features. And this is the free version, it's not a paid version. So let's get started and let's find out the things which I liked a lot and why. Firstly, if you move on to the E-Light customizations, light options, you will find lock refresh rate, which is a very useful thing. So you will have the same refresh rate in all the apps. Me account menu on top is also quite useful. Screenshot in any app is so great. But this one is one of my favorite. The name is theme server. You can switch between the theme server. In some of the devices or in some of the theme managers in MIUI or HyperOS, you have some great themes, but those are only region specific. For example, China, Russia, etc. These are not available in India, but you can change the server and download that theme very easily. Or in case you need some themes which are only available in India, or basically you can't apply them from China, then we have the option to choose between from them. I love this feature and it's available here and it's working perfectly fine here. For example, I've just chosen the India theme server in this case, so I can simply apply any fonts because fonts in China, of course, you can't install them, you can't use them because those are in Chinese, how you will clarify, how you will find out the differences, etc. But in India, if the server is in India, you can change fonts very easily. And one of my favorite fonts of all time is Product Sans, basically alternative to Google Sans, and it works great. You can simply search for it, you can download it. One thing which I found or I noticed here, is the speed difference in these theme servers i'm not exactly sure if it is device specific but whenever i download any theme from here sometimes it takes more time as compared to the normal one but that's completely fine because it's not a big thing to deal with all the super icons are of course unlocked in this custom if you have the xiaomi eu already available then it's good in case xiaomi eu is not available for you then you can try out hyper OS because it's available for a lot of xiaomi devices for example, in this case, let me try the super icon because we have many super icons available. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. But because I'm using MIUI E-Lite Edition or basically HyperOS E-Lite Edition, I have all the icons which are absolutely free. No issues here, at least for me. As you can see, I have these icons available. All these icons, even the paid icons are free here. I can use any one of them. These look good. I can use them very easily on my devices. Same like that, if I move on to the other options here, all the themes, etc. As I just mentioned, I can play any theme from here and you can even switch between the servers. So yes, this is one of the great things about this one. That is why I'm using this and this is one of the reasons. Another thing is up to date. HyperOS based e edition is now here and I'm using POCO F5. If that custom is available officially, if HyperOS is available officially for you, then e edition is most likely available for you. Only few of the Xiaomi devices support, but it's a good list, but it's good one. Some of the custom, some of the devices also have the updates uh, like as an unofficial version. I'm not exactly sure, but if this custom room is, this modded edition is supported for you, try it out. As I'm just installing it after some time and HyperOS is updated, so all the HyperOS customizations, HyperOS features are available. HyperOS brings you new lock screen, some extra effects, etc. I made a dedicated video already on HyperOS UI changes or the top 10 features or differences between MIUI and HyperOS. So if you want to know more about HyperOS, check out that video which is just there on my channel. You can find out some more interesting things, maybe can be useful for you including all the changes which are available here some lock screen clock customizations etc so yes a great deal a great thing to deal with check it out in case you did not yet these were some great features or things which actually i just wanted to let you know but including these things one more thing is available in this hyper OS or basically e light mode edition which i tried on my device is the camera most of the times you will see the updated camera by default in my some of the devices uh, when i used miui based hyper os miui based e light edition sorry for that miui based e light edition it was good enough the camera by default was not updated but in e light room the camera was updated with leica camera etc but in this case of course it's here so most of the 
times I have no issues with camera too. So yes, it's not a big thing, big thing to deal with. All the features, all the great things are included in HyperOS Elite. And like, unlike in some other modded MIUI or HyperOS versions, we have some issues there. They have many customizations, but in this case, I'm not a fan of huge customizations, especially in HyperOS or MIUI. But some useful things like super icons unlock, theme server change, screenshot in any app, these things matter. And also, one more thing is a launcher customization. It is only having the iOS style recent, which is actually so useful, or maybe extra grades unlocked, etc. But not related to Google search bar customizations or some things like that. Those are actually available. Not everyone is a fan of them, but if you use, you can. But in case I'm not a fan of all those things, especially if I use that device on my device, if I use that custom room on my daily driver device. So, yes, these were things I just wanted to let you know. In case you want to know more about HyperOS, the link is there for that video, and also the links to download this one is available in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.